solid fenders. They require a few hours of work to get installed correctly, and you will have to bend them a little to fit. Once they are mounted they look great and work perfectly. I was a little worried that they might rattle or make noise, but I dropped my bike from a couple inches and they don't move or make a sound. These are good quality fenders although my tire size is 700x50c so they did not fit my bike. The arc would have to be a little larger and they could be a little wider and a little flatter. If you try to stretch the arc the fender becomes narrower and likewise if you try to stretch the width the arc gets tighter. Even though the fenders are said to be 52mm wide keep in mind that that is the fender width and not the tire width. These are the best fenders for the money available on planet earth. They can also take half a day to install. But then you're done. No rattle and they look great. I mounted a tail light to mine and use the front to hold a dynamo lamp for durability use the included reinforcement plate when mounting the front and try to use the diruma method for front mounting. In the rear use the crimped bracket. Don't use the L brackets if you don't need to. This will make your install extra sturdy and immune to loosening. I use this on a European style roadster that gets ridden daily and they are absolutely fantastic. The only better fender is Honjo. Get those if you need a CM Morto clearance or need to run a tail light wire as the edges are nicely rolled.